This boy did what many people want to do but are afraid to do. He knocked over all the expensive ice creams in the supermarket that weren't labeled. But there's always a time when a hero has to die. Some the boy was caught but he still deserves our respect for his courage. At night, David was bitten by mosquitoes. He felt a little hungry so he opened the refrigerator to look for something to eat. Suddenly he stared at the ice cream and saw that it was moving by itself. At that moment, his father caught him stealing food. David rushed to tell him what had just happened, but the ice cream had returned to normal. The father thought the boy was starving and kicked him out. He took the ice cream and ate it deliciously. The next day, his brother opened the fridge to get a box of ice cream, but David stopped him. He lied and said the ice cream had expired and couldn't be eaten. Mom tasted the ice cream and didn't find anything wrong with it, so she offered it to David. When David didn't want to eat it, his brother grabbed it and stuffed it into his mouth. Although David kept repeating that he saw the ice cream move, no one believed him. David threw the ice cream away in anger. His father was furious, and after David's misbehavior at the supermarket, he was confined to his room by his parents, and he had to keep making noises to let his mom know he was in his room. It wasn't long before David couldn't resist going downstairs to see what the family was up to. He came into the kitchen and found all the uneaten food in the trash. Another garbage bag was full of ice cream that had been eaten. He realized that his family must have eaten all the ice cream. And sure enough, the whole family was eating it leisurely. Even making it their dinner, David was the only one who didn't eat ice cream. So he was out of the ordinary, Dad asked him to have some. But David would rather die than eat it, because he could see that his family was being controlled by the ice cream and their whole brain was filled with ice cream. David realized something was wrong and ran away, but his brother caught him. Just because David doesn't eat ice cream, but they look like they have a deep grudge against each other. Ice cream really does have a way of invading people's brains. That warned him to eat the ice cream if he didn't want to be abandoned. David had no choice but to take the ice cream. He was going to take it back to his room to eat it. His parents, however, smiled wryly. They hugged his brother and waited for David to become a slave to the ice cream. David poured the ice cream down the toilet, but the ice cream swells up in the toilet bowl and even comes out. David pushes the flush button to stop the ice cream from growing. Now David is the only one who is not controlled. The rest of the family have already had the ice cream invade their brains. David put shaving cream in a box disguised as ice cream to fool his father. His brother watched him eat it. David's a tough guy, too. He took a bite of the shaving cream, but his father had to watch him eat it. David was forced to take a few more bites of shaving cream, but his father's face began to look a little skeptical. Eating ice cream should be enjoyable. How can you eat it so painfully? David finally couldn't stand the torture of the shaving cream and ran outside to spit it out. Dad tasted the ice cream and realized that he had been cheated. David ran out as fast as he could, followed by his family. If they caught him, David would be in trouble. Then a handsome man came to him and told him to get in the car, saying that he knew the secret of the ice cream. David got in the car and escaped from his family. It turned out that Jason was an FBI agent. He noticed something unusual about the ice cream a long time ago. Anyone who eats this ice cream can be controlled by it. Even animals can be manipulated. It's a new kind of terrorist weapon. If you eat too much ice cream every day, you become like this. The whole person will be eaten by the ice cream. He happened to read the newspaper and found out that David didn't like ice cream. So he drove David away to save the world with him. Jason had already found out where the ice cream factory was headquartered. He flew there with his wife and David in order not to put David's life in danger. Jason left him on the plane to wait. Jason disguised himself as a reporter and went to the headquarters to pretend to do an interview. But the ice cream at the headquarters was much more powerful. The ice cream first killed the pilot and then tried to kill David. He ran out the back door of the plane and ran to a mining site. Then a tanker truck came by. David hides, then sneaks into the tanker. When the workers are looking to see what's going on. Unfortunately, the workers had closed the lid. David was trapped inside. On the other hand, Jason and his wife came to the factory to investigate secretly. But everything seems to be normal here. The ice cream is made according to the assembly line. They found no evidence that the ice cream could kill anyone. The supervisor arranged for them to rest in the neighborhood and come back tomorrow for the interview. So they went to the hotel to get a good night's sleep. But the wife couldn't sleep because her pillow was uncomfortable. Of course, the ice cream was going to start messing with her. The ice cream suddenly came out of the pillow and smeared the man's face. He rolled on the floor and almost suffocated from the ice cream. At the critical moment, his wife poured alcohol on top of the ice cream and set it on fire. Jason struggled in pain and finally threw the ice cream against the wall with all his might. Although he escaped from the crisis for a while, a puppet controlled by ice cream jumped towards him. Ice cream thinks he's useless and plans to kill him too. The golem was stuck to the wall by the ice cream that kept on spraying and it was about to fly to the ceiling. Jason poured alcohol on him and tried to melt the ice cream with a fire. 
they took this opportunity to escape. However, the amount of ice cream this time was too much. Even the fire couldn't consume them. The ice cream was even more terrifying than expected. Soon after they got out, they found a large number of oil tankers heading to a place. So Jason sneaks up on them and follows them there. It's only when they see this scene that they realize where the ice cream came from. It turns out the ice cream was dug out of the ground. Someone accidentally found this moving ice cream, and after taking a bite, they were completely controlled. This has led to the mass production of this ice cream, and then sent to all the supermarkets to sell. More and more people started to eat it. In the end, the ice cream invaded everyone's brain and ruled the earth. In other words, ice cream is the real culprit. In order to destroy the mine, Jason stole the workers' clothes and planted bombs on the walls. On the other hand, the ice cream has been sucked into the tanker. David is still inside the tanker and cannot get out. He cries out for help and Jason hears him passing by. In order to save David, Jason drove the tanker all the way. He pushed the button and the mine was blown up. They were able to escape and rescue the boy. As the ice cream was about to go out of the car, Jason was able to close the lid. Now that the mine has been blown up, it's time to figure out what to do with the rest of the ice cream. Jason found an army unit and explained the seriousness of the situation to the general. The general immediately led the army to destroy the factory's headquarters. Human civilization is better than the others. All it took was an explosion to destroy the ice cream. The general then went to the radio station and announced to the nation that if you have any ice cream at home, throw it out. Ice cream will no longer be allowed in any supermarkets or convenience stores. And with a special report on TV, people finally came out of their ice cream compulsion. They burned all the ice cream in piles. Not only that, they blew up the ice cream retailers. The factory, of course, could not survive. The ice cream conspiracy was finally destroyed. Is there anyone who is eating ice cream and swipe this video? Then you have to take a good look at it. Maybe your ice cream is surging too. After watching this video, do you still dare to eat ice cream? Then the boy ruthlessly smashed all the ice cream. 